Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Gen channel where I am playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, uh, the Redux Edition. Um, and apparently, this is game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. Um, so, this is a walking Ethan simulator. Ethan Carter, I didn't Sorry. know. But he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. So yeah, so it's a walking simulator game, I guess is what the niche thing is. Just exploration. And... Story. Okay. Trap, hold. What am I doing? So there's a lot of skeletons there. Is that what is that what it's just okay. I guess that's what it's just trying to tell me. Um Okay. So no hold hand holding, just me in it looks gorgeous though. especially on my computer which I probably need to update at some point soon um. yeah. all right well, let's go and figure out what happened to poor little Ethan Fucking... <sighs> really? <sighs> okay, that made me jump. Sorry, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what the, um, where it's trying to push me. Or maybe I'm just venturing off by myself. I'm presuming I've got to cross the bridge. Which says, don't cross, basically. Red Creek Valley. It seemed like a quiet, ordinary place. I've learned two things in my life. No place is truly quiet, and nowhere is really ordinary. Ethan warned me about that. Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Already I knew that. I don't like the sound of that bridge. Alrighty. That doesn't look very good. Yep. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. So I'm presuming I gotta find the crank. Presuming that's telling me that the crank is down by the beach, so so I have to go and get it. Uh, yeah, no. So I need to get the crank so I can turn the train on. I'm not sure why I need to turn the train on, but you know, whatever. I guess we just gotta find the crank. Oh, this is the end. Yeah. Um, alrighty. Uh, down the path we go. I'm getting the sense that there's no one up here. Cut tires. Untired. Yes, it's a rope. Okay. That, on the other hand, is a lot of blood. I'm going to say that's an animal, though. Oh, wait, no, that's not an animal. That's, that's, that's... Yep. That's a body. The f I can tell you what happened. He got hit by a train. What am I doing? Not yet. What do you mean that? Oh. Do I need a So I guess I've gotta I've gotta find different parts, I guess? And I've gotta like so the more information I gather about the certain things, then I can look into it, basically, and figure out what happens. This looks like where the crankshaft is. Just make sure I've got to not miss anything. Let's go back and fix up the, the train. So yeah, so it's immediately... The first impressions are it's pretty. It's very pretty. Because um, this is redone in the Unreal Engine 4, I think, I believe. So, um, yeah, very pretty. Runs pretty smoothly, especially on my um, crappy... Well, not... I wouldn't say it's crappy, but it's... it's Definitely needs an upgrade at some soon. And I'm getting a a uh, very weird, supernaturally, probably not kind of vibe by it, which is good because it's immediately uh, up my alley. Alrighty, now what do I want to do? Do I want to go forward or do I want to go back?
I, I presume this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like I don't, I don't know. Oh, so someone obviously wanted to set something on fire. The rope indicates to me that someone was tied up. Maybe. Let's see if I've gathered enough information to see. Well, it's definitely, definitely bigger. anything under the train up top. <sighs> yeah. I'm already my interest is already piqued, I shall say. Doesn't look like there was anything under. Alright, well I guess we'll just keep on going down the path. Past the train. I guess there might be something down down the tracks a bit later on. There's a lot of forest around here. A lot of stuff that could be tucked away. Plus the, uh, the wood creaking isn't really helping the atmosphere at the moment. It's putting me on edge, which I know is, is not what the point of the game is. It's not a horror game. You're just supposed to be unnerved, I guess, about what's going on, but it's still not helping. Is that something over there? Or is it just my... No, it's just my imagination. Sorry. Um... Hmm. Okay, well this, this first video is probably just going to be me walking around, admiring the views and... Oh, there we go. Let's just start. Huh. Okay. Bit of an odd place for a grenade to be, I must say. I honestly thought that was a pine cone when I first saw it, but yeah, it was a really odd place for a grenade to be. Alright. Anyway. Onwards we go, I guess.
fucking low. Um. Is there an astronaut? <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna follow the astronaut. Okay, I'm really fucking confused right now. Terrestrial containment capsule number 86911. What the f Okay. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when I saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast stood up, stood, rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light dies, another took its place. This one was a blue, a bright and pure blue. Ugh. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it traced it deeper into the forest. When the light stopped, it did so. Some... Did so... Some... What? Um, I can't read that last one. The clearing of trees. Sorry. The, the beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappears, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Okay. Gay Lord, okay. Alright. Okay, so I wasn't really abducted by aliens, it was a metaphor. Okay, that's nice to know. 
cool. I thought that went really fucking weird really quickly. I was like, oh, this isn't a sci- I don't remember this being a sci-fi game or anything like that, but yeah. Alright, well, I think that's a good point to leave the first part. Um, yeah, very odd game, but I'm, I'm going to chip away at it, and yeah. So if you want to watch more Ethan Carter, please hit the subscribe button, and also some other games are in the works as well, which is, which is really good. If you want to... Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button below, and until next time, this is the Game Jump, signing out.